for this particular challenge. Um, welcome, and this is something that's super exciting, and we decided to take these and make them available for everybody. So welcome, welcome. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see all about the challenge. And uh, let's see, I think this ought to... I think we stopped my video, but you guys can see the challenge now. Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is talk about this challenge and um, the, set, the 21 day challenge for this month is a plant based flexitarian intermittent fast. And I'm going to tell you all about that and why it is the number one best course for transitioning into a plant based diet with a side of flexitarian so it meets you where you are so if you are a big meat eater or a small meat eater if you're just eating fish um, if you're like me and the flexitarian part comes into eggs then so don't worry about it it meets you exactly where you are and helps you to bring in the fundamentals of plant-based lifestyle meaning nutrition meal prepping cooking shopping superfoods and etc it teaches you how to invigorate all these things and in, in Port all these things into your daily lifestyle. This is not a diet to lose weight, but you will definitely lose weight. You'll lose belly fat. I'm going to go through all the science benefits of this as soon as we get uh, moving through here. Um, so you are going. We are going to eliminate the confusion of dieting and fads that don't work. We're going to make confident decisions about foods that we put into our carts. We're going to learn how to create nutritionally enhanced meal plans with plant-based foods. We're going to quickly prepare and cook wholesome meals, snacks, smoothies, and drinks, and we're going to consistently choose the right foods to stock in our pantry and our fridge. Does that sound good? All right, so I want to ask you before we get started, what are your New Year's goals? What is the resolutions and what do you want to do better in 2020 than 2019? So 2,000 people were queried, and of those, 71% they said they want to eat better and um, go on a diet. They want a better diet. 65% um, said they want to exercise more. 54% said they want to lose weight. So I got to tell you, with this plan, you're going to hit one, two, and three with just one plan. I'm all about uh, dumbing things down. So two, three things with one with one. A uh, goal is is perfect. Um, people say they want to save more money, spend less time. Exactly. Learn a new skill or hobby. I myself have decided I want to get back into some crafts, and I'll share all that when we get down into next month's goals. Um, quit smoking. Read more. Find another job. Drink less alcohol. How about you guys? Less alcohol. <laughs> all right. We're going to talk about that during the plan as well. I'm not telling you you need to drink less if, uh, if you're not wanting to drink less, but if you want to live healthier and stronger, then you may want to take a look if you think you need to take a look at your alcohol amount. And the last one is spend more time with family and friends, and that is my number one goal. My number one goal is to make deeper, richer connections and spend more time, have more time with family and friends. So which of those New Year resolutions are what's meeting your goals for this year. Go ahead and write that down on your notepad. Today I'm going to share with you um, what is an intermittent fast. So we're going to learn about what an intermittent fast is, how this becomes the best course of action in including um, adding it as a plant-based um, program, eliminating the confusion on diets and um, fads that don't work. I'm going to show you how to kick cravings to the curb. There's actually 10 most common cravings. We're going to talk about two of them today. The rest will be in your guidebook that is provided with the program. You're going to be getting mindset piece, and that is actually the number one piece that you're going to be getting because with mindset comes ease, comes confidence, um, eliminates the confusion. And I know, especially my busy entrepreneurs, business owners, and moms out there, you want to be shown exactly what to do. So we're going to show you exactly what to put in your pantry. You're going to get a list to show you what to buy, what things to have on, on stock, and um, how to go shopping. Today we're also going to be talking about emotional and physical hunger and how that can be um, 
kind of uh, misconstrued with cravings as well. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you so that um, you can not only lose weight but and not lose fat, uh, not lose muscle. Um, I'm going to give you a pass to our 17 minute fit club, which has 40 second exercises and you actually get to customize the workouts. So in 21 days, what you can expect is um, our big ass ebook that is plant-based. You will get how to's and general pantry lists and links to the kitchen essentials. And this is equipment that I have in my kitchen, some equipment that's on my Christmas list. Um, but these are things that will make your life easier. And if you're looking to supersize and um, save as much time as you can in the kitchen, this kitchen essential list will be perfect for you. In the program, you're also going to be learning about the 12 habits of highly successful, uber happy people and what they do in their life. I've studied this um, for a very long time. I'm friends with uh, Don Green, who is the president and CEO of um, one of my favorite books, and I'll be sharing all that with you guys in the, in the group, and I will be giving away a signed copy as well. Um, we have, we will be learning 12 habits of the highly successful people, 10 ways to ignite your drive. Now, I know that it, you know, we get that motivation, that inspiration, but both of those wash off. So we want to make sure that you stay focused and strong during the 21 days, and we will show you exactly how to do that. Um, also, you're going to be learning the fundamentals of plant-based lifestyle. You're going to learn how to fix your relationship with food. Now, that's a big one. And this is where the confidence decision comes into play and, and how to simplify your shopping excursions so that you don't go down those naughty aisles and you stay in the cleaner aisles. Um, many of us have bad relationships with food based on uh, past experiences with being a lot key kid or emotional um, stuffing our face because of other traumas. And so we're going to be touching upon all that in this program. And if you want to go deeper, you can always consult with me as a one-on-one. -on -one. You're also going to be getting lists of how to pack your food for work. So you have a great lunchbox and what to bring when you go on trips. Now I know a lot of us do that as me as well. And so there's some great essentials and, and easy travelable, uh, portable foods that we can pack. Um, you're going to be learning about nutritionally enhanced meals and how to balance out your meals with your macros, your fat, your fiber, and your proteins. Um, everything has carbs, you guys. That's a macro, but everything has carbs. So to say that you're you know, on a low-carb diet, um, if you're eating a lot of salads, you're having a lot of carbs. So I'm going to be sharing with you how to not, not worry about calories, not worrying about those carbs, um, definitely not those bad carbs. Um, we want to watch those. There's going to be food swaps because it's not a one size fits all. There may be certain things that you can't eat or don't like to eat. So you're going to be getting a food swap list so you know how to refine your planning of your meals. You're also going to be getting some of my best recipes using the spiralizer, making pizzas actually from scratch, the simplest doughs that take just minutes to make, or do what I do and go to Trader Joe's, Publix, or Whole Foods and, and buy some of theirs that are made with either spinach or um, cauliflower. But I've got a really great one made with quinoa and water, simple and easy. If you like tacos and Mexican and enchiladas, I've got you covered in that one. I love eating wraps. I still love French toast and pancakes. I don't eat it often, but when I do eat it, I use a certain type of bread. And I'll share with you that. Awesome recipes with soups, salad dressings. Yes, there's even desserts and treats. So understand that this is baby steps to a fitter, healthier, and happier you, moving your body in a good way that feels good. So you will never change your life until you change the habits of what you're doing. The secret to your success is found in your daily routines. And this couldn't be further from the truth, you guys. Um, it is all about your habits and what you're doing. So you're going to be getting um, so many um, insertions with the 12 healthy habits of highly successful people and ways to curtail and curb your, um, your cravings. There's so much added benefit in here. It's not just a, a bunch of recipes. So most people share with me that they do like to eat some plants. 
um, plants, meaning vegetables and fruits. Now, with that being said, do you find yourself to be between two to eight percent of the population that eats um, um, two, two to eight percent of your meals is um, vegetables? Are you like 16% of the respondents that don't eat meat, fish, seafood, or poultry more than half the time, but half the time you do? 17% um, stated that they eat many vegetarian meals, but less than half the time. And a third of the population says that they eat vegetarian meals a significant amount of time. So where do you find yourself in this? And where do you want to go? So this is where we have those gaps, and this is the gaps that we're going to close here. So you kind of want to kind of take a note on where you are now and where you want to be. There's a lot of people on here that also do eat in an intermittent fasting way, but they're here to learn about the proper way to break a fast. So just because you eat in an intermittent way, and we're gonna talk about that in just a little while, doesn't mean that you're eating healthfully and that you're breaking your fast in a healthy way either. So we're gonna be talking about how to do that. So I studied, um, when I got my health certification, I studied over 100 different meal plans. And since that time, I wanted to figure out and study who the healthiest people on the earth was. And do you guys know who the healthiest people are? They are the blue zone people. Now there's five blue zones and there's three main um, blue zones that are uh, different and uh, have similar similarities. So what I did was I took the cross between Loma Linda, which is in California, Sardinia, Italy, and Okinawa, Japan. And you can see that you know some of them have areas that are completely different. Like Okinawa has no time urgency, likability, and turmeric. Those are three things that they use. Um, Sardinia, fava beans, and high polyphenol wine. Okay, so if you're a high polyphenol wine, that's a red wine, drink your red wine. Um, high healthy uh, social circles and eats nuts. That's what is different about Loma Linda. But when we take them individually and we cross them, this center area is what I'm focusing on. And this is what I'm going to be sharing with you throughout the year. Focusing on family, non-smoking, plant-heavy diet, constant moderation of physical activity, social engagement, and lagoons. So health benefits of plant-based diet, you may have realized them or heard about them, but they are so super point on, longevity. So those people in the blue zone, these have the highest concentration of centurions, people who live into their hundreds and beyond. So we want to talk about longevity, living healthy, not just living long, but living healthy and fully. Um, people who have plant-based diets, they weigh less. Lower oxidation, stress, and inflammation, that is one of the number one killers and, and um, instigators for all diseases, such as heart disease, such as diabetes, such as cancer, such as gut. Now, we're going to also be sharing with you down in the line um, some of the other challenges, which is a gut-healthy challenge and brain protection. Okay, so people often say, if I'm plant-based, can I get enough protein? Well, here are 40 different ways, at least, that you can get your protein and high amounts of protein. Yes, even the potato is on our list, so it's not a no-no. So those of you who have been hiding away from potatoes, you can have potatoes, but we're going to show you how to eat your potato and not load it with sour cream, butter, and cheese. Um, so when we start eating properly, we don't have to take these things and put them away. Now, some of us may not be able to eat things like wheat berries, especially if you are gluten intolerant, but there's tons of different ways, as you can see through this list, on how to get really great proteins. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you recipes like pasta primavera, which has less than three ingredients and cooks in less than 15 It's minutes. seven o'clock. Mexican fiesta. Oh my gosh, this recipe is absolutely delicious. And it's basically opening a couple of cans and, and putting this recipe together. Potatoes, veggies, and tahini sauce, like, like absolutely delicious. And pizzas, wraps, um, um, spaghetti, you name it. It's all in there. All right, so 
Whoops. So I want to talk to you about the top food cravings and um, the difference between physical and emotional hunger. So these are the basic signs between physical and emotional hunger. And you know if you're physically hungry, if your stomach growls, low on energy, you have a decent amount of time passed since your last meal, decent amount of time, it's somewhere between two to three hours. It's roughly the time of day you usually feel hungry. You may already be on a systematic clock, a circadian clock. Your body tells you when to eat. You're open to different foods instead of fixation, and you're not just fixated on your food all the time and when you're going to get to eat next. Emotional hunger is quite different, and signs of that include experiencing boredom, stress, or anxiety that causes your trigger to eat. Feelings like you need a break, you're exhausted, you're tense, you're uptight, you feel overwhelmed, um, you feel sad. These things um, cause us to feel as if we're physically hungry, but when we really take a gut check on it, we're probably not physically hungry. So we're gonna learn how to watch that and recalibrate that. When you have a desire to eat despite just recently eating, and when you're not open to new foods, when you're just kind of fixated on, let's say sitting down at the TV and having a bowl of ice cream or a bowl of cereal or something like that, that is, or bag of chips or something like that. So if you've ever wondered why you have food cravings, and now we're gonna get more into physical hunger, but this does tap into emotional hunger because you have most likely misconstrued them. So if you ever wondered about food cravings, then there may simply be nutritional def deficiencies that you are experiencing. And many of us at some point in our lives experience a craving, whether you were pregnant or, or just in particular, you're having a need for something. I know um, when I was eating tuna fish, as an example, very often I was finding a craving for tuna fish. Um, and when I suffice that, and I'll be sharing all that with you guys in the program, um, how I changed some of my food cravings, but I'm gonna be talking to you today about two substantial food cravings and know that the other eight are going to be outlined in your manual. So the first one is salty and salty foods and cravings of salt may mean that you're simply dehydrated. So take a notice of how much water you drink. Now they say half your body weight in water. But if you are active, it is way more than that. And for every cup of coffee that you may drink, you need to replace double that. So if you had an eight ounce cup of coffee, then you need 16 more ounces of water. It may also mean that you have a silicon or chloride deficiency. So we wanna take a watch on how much water we have, but know that you can increase your chloride by eating seaweed, rye, and celery, and you can increase your silicon levels by eating nuts and seeds, other than refined grains. Now, many of you may have chocolate cravings. Your chocolate cravings can be a sign that you are magnesium deficient. So if that is the case, which is the case of 80% of our population, um, and a lot of people are taking magnesium, but many of the magnesiums, like magnesium stearate, is pure crap. So if you are taking magnesium and it is not the right type of magnesium for what your your needs are, then it is not being absorbed and being utilized. There are, I believe, six different types of magnesium, and we will be outlining those in the guidebook as well. We'll have a whole program just on magnesium and which magnesiums to get, and you'll get links to the magnesiums as well. But if you do find yourself craving chocolate, dark chocolate is good, and it's definitely better. So you can add that into just a small bite, not a huge bar. Raw cacao nibs, you can add those into your smoothies. They taste absolutely delicious if you put them on your bowls. We're gonna be making bowls as well. I'm gonna teach you how to make acai bowls and uh, nutrition bowls. Um, nuts and green vegetables will also give you um, a quality magnesium. And also, of course, a quality magnesium supplement. So I'm, I'm gonna give you links to all of that, so don't worry. Now, in this program, there will be no dairy. I don't do dairy. Occasionally, it slips in, um, but there's reasons not to have dairy, as you can see here. Um, the casein in it is a relevant cancer promoter. It has been shown and proven. Uh, there's also growth hormones in most of those milks. 
I know that there's some milk out there that doesn't that uh, says it doesn't have growth hormones, so the cows have not been provided with that. But if you have acne, eczema, psoriasis, milk is not your friend. It's also been linked, believe it or not, to osteoporosis. Now I know that they promote that it helps aid um, and and slow down osteoporosis, but there's other ways. And if that's something that you need help on, then please contact me. But as you can see here, there's lots of good reasons, and we're going to be going over that and what to replace your milk with. So let's talk about what intermittent fasting is and what the science-based reasons are behind it. So intermittent fast is one of the most powerful weight loss tools, I won't lie. So if you're here to lose weight, you're in good hands. But it's one of the major benefits of losing weight, of, of, this, of this healthy eating, is definitely weight loss. But it's not like you're going to um, slither away just from this, because you're going to be eating healthy. So during this program, not only are you going to be intermittent fasting, but you're going to be eating healthy meals and fewer meals. You're, going to have to, you're also going to learn how to prepare less often and cook less often and, and less cleanup. So these meals are prepared and um, these recipes are made to help you to facilitate faster, easier meal prepping. And I actually call it food prepping. So intermittent fasting also changes the hormone levels. So it facilitates weight loss. Studies have shown that intermittent loss fasting can be a very powerful weight loss. Um, a study in 2014 found that this eating pattern, I'm gonna replace the word pattern with lifestyle, so this eating lifestyle can cause three to 8% weight loss in just three to 24 weeks. Now I can pretty much guarantee you will lose at least five to 10 pounds over the next 21 days if you follow this to a T. So how coachable are you? According to the same study, people lost somewhere between 4 to 7% of their waist circumference. So how much do you want to lose? We're going to lose significantly amount of our belly fat if you eat like this. And it also helps to lose the fat that is surrounding your organs that causes disease. Another study found that intermittent fasting helps to um, cause less muscle loss. And that's important. When we go on these diets, other diets, we don't just lose body weight and fat, we lose muscle. So it's really important, and that's one of the reasons why I focus in and I eat an intermittent fasting lifestyle. I've been doing this for five years. So keep that in mind. So in summary, intermittent fasting may slightly boost your metabolism while Definitely you're eating less calories because you're not eating as many huge meals, but it is also very effective in losing weight and belly fat, which is one of our most important. Now, we're going to be studying and focusing on the 16-8 method, which involves fasting every day for 14 to 16 hours and restricting your daily eating window between 8 to 10 hours. And you can see that there's already flexibility in this. It's not saying 16 hours, 8 hours. It's saying 14 to 16, 8 to 10. And the reason I do that is simply because some of us... Um, especially if we're just starting out, we're going to need a little bit more flexibility. So go ahead and take it. Within the eating window, you, you can fix two, three, or more meals. So don't worry about that. And I consider everything that you eat a meal. So a snack is a meal. A treat is a meal. Anything that you eat is considered a meal. Doing this method of fasting can actually be as simple as not eating anything after dinner and skipping breakfast. But with this particular program, you're going to learn how to break your fast with the right type of nutrition so that you're not hungry within the next hour and so that we break down all those cravings. So I suggest your first meal to be between 9 and 1 o'clock and your last meal to be between 3 and 8 o'clock. So depending on what your work schedule is and your lifestyle, you're going to decide how it's going to be best for you. Now, I know when I first started doing this, I was doing a nine to fiver. Now I do 11 to six. So you see what works best for you. So I'm actually doing a seven hour window of eating at this point. But you can see, again, you see what works best for you. So in general, it's recommended that women only fast 14 to 15 hours because they seem to do better with shorter fast breaks. So if you're new to this, 
take that into consideration. For my beginners, a 10-6, 11-7 works well for people, especially who have busy work schedules, eating 11 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock at night. But again, see what works best for you. We're going to be opening up a private room on um, on face um, I almost said FaceTime on Facebook. So we'll be able to um, talk about all this more intently and as a group, and where you be able to share some of your favorite recipes as well. Um, people ask a lot of different questions, and we're going to get to the FAQs here in just a second. But one of the other things that's really amazing about intermittent fasting is it burns up and turns up our metabolic furnace. So it helps to speed up your metabolism. And when you add in my fitness program, where we're doing some muscle building and burning more calories, you're going to see how it just takes off. Now you're going to be learning about my ACV combo, which is apple cider vinegar. And you're also going to be shared with um, maybe having celery juice first thing in the morning. And I have to admit, that's one of my habits that goes in and out regularly, but I have discovered its amazing benefits. And if you want to take this fully, I highly suggest you do celery juice first thing in the morning. And that could be your first thing at like seven o'clock, but we want to maybe replace our coffee with celery juice. How does that sound? If you're one of the people that drinks coffee because um, it helps you go to the bathroom and has great elimination, then I've got stuff for you that's going to help you with that. So that's all again going to be shared with you during the program of our intermittent fast plant-based diet over the next 21 days. Um, so this method is not going to work if you continue to eat a lot of junk food or have excessive number of calories, it's just not going to. So make up your mind that you're ready to eat healthy and that you're ready to learn a new style of eating. So some of the FAQs that people ask me is, can I drink liquids during the fast time? So the answer is yes. Definitely water and teas are awesome. I just talked to you about how you can have apple cider vinegar in the morning or celery juice in the morning. Totally great, but you don't want to add any sugar to it. And if you're still going to drink coffee, please no sugar, no cream. You can use a non-dairy cream. Okay. Um, is it healthy to skip breakfast? Um, so the answer to that is you're not really skipping breakfast, you're breaking your fast. And if you look at it that way, then it's not about skipping breakfast, it's about when you're going to have your break fast. Um, back in the olden days, that's all they did. They did not eat at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. They first went out to their farms and, and did all of that kind of chores before they even ate. Um, can I take supplements while fasting? Yup, absolutely. And keep in mind that your fat-soluble vitamins will work better if you take them during your meals. So like your vitamin Ds. If you are on a vitamin D supplementation, you definitely want to take that with your meals. Um, can you work out while you're fasting? Absolutely. Listen, this is my lifestyle. I have been eating with a fasted lifestyle for five years, and I work out nearly every day for at least 17 minutes. So I do my 17 minute program. Sometimes I end up doing it multiple times because I have clients that like me to work out with them. They don't want me to just coach them. Sometimes that happens in person. Again, sometimes that's over video online. So um, sometimes I work out four times a day. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, working out is fine. Um, and people ask, can they take their branch chain amino acids while, uh, while during this program? You could take all your supplements during this program. Absolutely. Um, will this fasting program cause, cause muscle loss? So I already explained earlier that it definitely doesn't. It actually helps build on. And if you add the program into it, you're going to see massive changes in your body, not just of losing weight, but getting tighter, toner, and feeling better. Um, can kids do this fast? Kids can definitely do this fast, um, it's, but it's not something that I recommend, um, especially if they're involved in sports and um, if they're super young. You know, they have a higher calorie need, and we don't want to start putting them through that, but they will love the meals that you're making, and you're not going to have to cook twice, and maybe your kids will help you put that together. So what's next? 
um, there's always something next. So we are now the home of the 21 day challenge.com. That site is going to be up within the next couple of weeks. And we decided to do 21 day challenges moving forward. So every single month, there's going to be a 21 day challenge that you can join us in. If you're not part of the 17 minute fit club, you can still come and do our challenges. As you can see, these are the challenges that we've outlined for the coming year. We're gonna have so much fun. Next month is gonna be all about manifesting magic, and it's gonna have quizzes and developing vision boards and mindful maps. So you can strategically create the year you want in the five critical areas of health, life and business, relationships, creative, and soul. <clears throat> I'm just coming off of a massive cold. Actually, I didn't even think I was gonna be able to muster this today. So how do we get started? You just go to beccatbon.com and you'll see a pop-up window come in. If you have not already bought this challenge and you're not and you are not part of our group, <clears throat> then it is only $17 and as I said, it will be extended until Friday, January 10th at midnight. After that it will be $27. So just go to BeccaTivon.com and it's in our store, but you'll see a pop-up and you'll just click on that. So I wanna thank you for joining us today. If you want any more information on how to live your fittest, healthiest, and happy life, please come see us. <clears throat> and um, I just wanna thank you for coming and create your best day ever. <clears throat>